Yo, what's up, guys? It's Plastic Boss here with another video. Yes. You know, with this whole coronavirus thing on, um, you know, it's been crazy. It's been kind of, you know, whatever. And I've been kind of lazy. However, I am now doing my best. School's almost over, so I'm doing my best to get back to what I love doing, making things. <laughs> guys, I'm not going to lie. This was probably the most difficult thing that I've ever tried to create and it just kept failing and failing and failing and just messed it up but I finally finally got it to work I'm sorry if I keep looking over there because that the thing is over there <laughs> the thing that we're gonna make today a table we are making a table and it was so so hard to make but we finally got it done and I'm not gonna lie to you I was winging it as I was filming it, like winging it, winging it. So there might be a little bit of things that are missing or I'm trying to figure out or I just might get frustrated, but it's okay. I apologize right now that if your table ended up lopsided or whatever, I'm sorry. But if you're smarter than me and you know all about, you know, balance and all that kind of stuff, great for you. I'm very proud of you and I wish I had paid more attention in school. So, let's get to the video. You're going to need four bottles, a poster board, cardboard, spray paint, some glue, some bottle tops, and a lighter and a roller. You're going to first start off with your bottles. I put rocks on the last bottle and you're just going to glue it up and stack them up together. Just make sure they're nice and secure. Make sure you wear gloves the next time. <laughs> to make this poster board more secure, we're going to use two poster boards and glue them together. It would probably be better if you folded them up. Now we are going to make uh, in the middle and make two lines like that. You're going to take your bottle tops and you're going to hot glue them on all of the edges. Make sure you take your handy dandy lighter and you're just going to just melt your tops together so it won't fall off. I took another bottle from before and I just traced the outline because I'm going to put tops around it. I took smaller tops and then used the bigger ones afterwards so it'd just be easier that way. It broke off. I'm so upset. <laughs> well, it's easier, I guess, to use. You're just gonna hot glue it down. If you need to adjust, adjust. At this point, I was kind of praying and asking God I need help, so I figured I would take some pieces of my cardboard and kind of um, make it more sturdy, and then I made a bottom also using cardboard and some more bottle tops and tried to hot glue it together, but I realized that hot glue is just not the best thing to use, and it kept leaning and messing up, so yeah. But I finished it. Alright guys, you are done with the videos. You can see I got, you know, the spray paint and stuff on my hands and everything because of the spray painting next time. Just make sure you wear your gloves when you're spray painting. Make sure you wear your mask when you um, are 
doing the using the torch so that you don't get those chemicals in your body. I apologize right now that if your table ended up lopsided or whatever, I'm sorry. But if you're smarter than me and you know all about, you know, balance and all that kind of stuff, great for you. I'm very proud of you and I wish I had paid more attention in school. Anyways, I hope you do like your table. Just, you know, practice it. Um, if you need to adjust things, whatever, totally do that. Again, this was just a winging thing and I'm, I'm very happy that I finished it. Make sure you please like, subscribe, tell your friends, get the little thingamabobber, thingamabobber in the bell thingy, yes. And, um, yeah, just, you know, tell your friends all about it. We had, we had just put up the, the theme song, so make sure you watch that. And, um, yeah, that's great. Just give me Jesus. So there were many things I was thinking about to do with this just give me Jesus moment. There are so many things you can do with a table, but as I was doing it, I had to change my focus on it. And my focus now for just give me Jesus moment is if you mess up, you got to get back up again. Being a Christian is so difficult. You're dealing with people who make fun of you. You're dealing with trying to follow God and thought and do your life at the same time. Trying to listen to God and listen to your pastor, listen to other people, and not trying to listen to the devil. A lot of time, we as Christians, we do mess up, and we we're so focused on trying to be perfect, and we're trying to have the best life that God wants for us to do. But sometimes we do slip up and when we do we go in this deep dark depression our guilt and our shame brings us down and it comes to the point where we don't want to follow we don't want to pray we don't want to read our bible because we feel like god is disappointed in us not only that but we also feel like we'll never be good enough we can never get back up and or we just get so mad at ourselves that we're like what is the point in trying what is the point of trying to live this perfect life that god has given me to to have and i keep screwing up there is a story in the bible about king david and just to give a very quick story about it. It was King David. He knew like this lady named Bathsheba that he saw bathing in his balcony. And he was like, you know what? I want that girl. So he brought her over to his house and he slept with her. Anyway, later Bathsheba comes over and she's like, David, guess what? I'm pregnant. What? You're pregnant and you have a husband? Oh my gosh, we gotta do something about this. Well, David, what am I gonna do? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I got this. So he brings Uriah, especially his husband, from the war, and he's like, yo, sleep with your wife. And Uriah's like, fam, I can't sleep with my wife because all the other people are in the war, and it's not fair that I get to sleep with her and everybody else is in the war. It's all right, it's cool, just come over tomorrow for a party and we'll get drunk. Anyway, so David brings Uriah over the next day and he gets Uriah drunk and so he's like, sleep with your wife and Uriah is like, all right, dude, I'll do that, bro. And in the end, he ends up falling asleep in front of his house. So David's getting mad. So he writes to this, his commander. He's like, look, dude, you got to kill Uriah. So he puts Uriah in the front lines and Uriah ends up dead. Bathsheba cries a little bit, but you know what? David takes Bathsheba as his wife. And then she is now ready to have a baby. But then a man of God, Nathan, comes over to David and he's like, David, because you did this, your child is going to die. Bruh, no! During that time, David is fasting, is praying, and praying, and praying to God that his, that his child will be saved. But then, in the end, the child does die. All of David's servants would think, man, he should be fasting and praying and crying, but instead, David went and he ate. He got up, he ate, and he drank, and he was satisfied. His servants were confused. They were like, David, why are you doing this? And David said, look, at that time, I had a chance. I prayed and asked God that maybe my child would be saved. But what is the point in trying to pray and fast now when my child is dead? I might as well just move on with my life. God did what he had to do, and I repent, and I'm sorry for what I did. The moral of the story is one or two things. One, 
When you mess up, you gotta fast and you gotta pray and you gotta ask God, God, I need help. I need you to help me through this because I can't do this on my own. I had to do that for that table because that table was not gonna come up for nothing. And I prayed and I asked God, God, help me. Second thing is, is that after you mess up and you repent and you ask God for forgiveness, you gotta move on with your life. Okay, you gotta, you gotta realize that God has given you a purpose for this life and he is taking that and he is allowing you to move on. You cannot hold on to the guilt and to the shame. You gotta go and you gotta eat and drink and fulfill the purpose that God has for you. So when you mess up, ask God for forgiveness and you gotta move on. And allow God to work through your life again. Maybe he used that mistake for a purpose. Have fun. Wait, be I forgot the ending on how I did this. It's get creative, have fun, love Jesus, plus boss, out. I think I did that right. <laughs>